Hey guys, welcome back to the 5R Show. I'm your host, Raymond. And as you can see here, we've got an Optimus Prime. An original G1 Japanese Optimus Prime. This is the one that has the gap in the middle. Now, I plan to make a G1 Optimus Prime combiner. That's right. A G1 Optimus Prime combiner. I've said it. Now you know it. And let's get started. So as you can see, this one is a junker. I mean, you know, that's it, right? That, that's pretty much it. My problem is this. Those two pins have been driving me crazy forever. Every time I see that someone does a G1 Optimus Prime restoration, they never take those pins off. Why? Because these are sonically welded. That's why. Well, I, for one, am sick of it. I'm sick of not being able to disassemble this whole toy. I'll tell you a quick story when I was a kid as I get my tools ready. I disassembled an entire Tonka truck and my mom was so mad and she asked me, why did you disassemble the Tonka truck? And I simply said, because I wanna see how it's made. I think at that time, my calling was to be an engineer. I just didn't know it. So, they swivel around but we're going to have to do something. So let's grab it from this side. It's going to be really hard to do. And I'm going to break that. I hope I can break it. I really hope I can break that sonic weld. But I don't know. I'm sure I'm not the first guy that's trying. Oh boy, I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. So, the next best thing would probably be that I'd have to... Wait a minute, did I succeed or... What did I do here? One end... out oh it has successfully been removed this is not metal is it is this metal I don't know I have successfully removed the pin. Here we are. Let me get my pin punch. There goes tire number one. Yes. Guys, I am super happy. I have successfully removed it. Now, as I said before, I'm not saying I'm the first guy to ever have done it. I'm just saying I've always wanted to do it. Now, that's strange right there. So, yeah, they're... But I am super excited because I've been wanting to do this all my life. See if we can't just slide out that pin. <laughs> and 
Eureka. Now I'm, I guess these are metal. And here are the tires. And yet the pin is still in. Now I wonder if it's, can't be the tension. So, okay, so let's uh, start removing some of the main parts. Wow. Let's transform him. Um, and <laughs> this thing here. Wow, that one was stuck. Okay, so let's turn. Let's transform our prime. And then and let's start taking the screws out. And now to, okay, so we gotta remove this piece here. So there's our cab uh, front, the metal pin. We'll put these separately together so that we don't forget and of course now we're here and for some reason and there we are <laughs> yes yes ladies and gentlemen yes oh here we go i'm just super happy because i've been wanting to do this for so and there we are, ladies and gentlemen. So here are the two parts of the... And so what is it? What is it about this pin? I see. So it does have some kind of a uh, stopping. It has a stopper. So that's what it is. This toy on the pin has stoppers here. And that's what it is. But how am I supposed to remove these? Ah, the pin. You see that? That's the pin. So how do we remove this pin? I didn't foresee this at all. This is Cure 556. This is the equivalent of WD-40. So let's pour some WD-40 in here. Just a tad bit. Now, let's grab our if we can't there we go this is like Oh, it's separate. It's separate. I thought it was attached to the spring. Now 
that is a very interesting development. We need some more slack. Here's my uh, printer thing. So for those of you that can't see, there is a separate piece right here that separate piece and I don't want to damage it because that is the piece that is like a washer that holds into place here so those were just in place to hold a tire and had really nothing to do with holding the entire pin which was my suspicion and I was wrong I was so wrong about it but if I do this I don't know if I will damage it and I desperately don't want to so you know it sucks we're so close yet so far away ah <laughs> uh. As I mentioned before, I do not want to break any one of these pieces. Rebuilding or repairing it will be a nightmare. But it seems that the piece that's actually sonically welded would be this one. But I don't understand how that's possible. intersection the other spring or the other leg and the other spring oh man that was <laughs> yes 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 now here's the thing yeah they're metal all right and they seem to be um, and that's the thing I'm going to have to figure out in the end. Um, <clears throat> is that uh, when I put them back in, I'm going to have to be able to uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to have to be able to slide them back into place and make sure see this is what i'm talking about so i didn't know there was an interior washer some kind of a metal washer that goes in there so you guys have disassembled legs you guys have disassembled arms i'm proud and happy to say today i have disassembled the pin structure or the the center pin which I'd been wanting to do for a long, long time. 
I'm super happy that I was able to do it today. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw it. The pin structure has been disassembled. I'm just so happy about that. Um, here's the inside of the leg. And so, yeah, it's, you know, as I've said before, I'm sure there has been a Transformer fan out there who has removed the center pin before, but I've never seen it on YouTube and I've always wanted to see it and I've always wanted to do it myself. Now you're saying, okay, well, Raymond, now that you've got the center pin out, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. But what are we going to do now, right? So, yeah, that's right. So now we've got to figure out a way to make this um, articulate. We have to articulate these legs. And the way we have to articulate them is to be able to fold out and fold down. I just want to modify it. Ladies and gentlemen, for today, we are done. Thank you very much for coming to the 5R show. Thank you for watching the beginning of the modification of Optimus Prime. So this is obviously part one. Can't wait to have you guys all back for part two, three, and I don't know how many parts for as long as it takes. But we will be doing what I promised which is Combiner Optimus Prime. So once again, thank you for watching the show. Share, like, comment, let us know what you think. Have you ever disassembled a Prime completely? I know I can say I have. So with that, I say thank you. God bless you. In Jesus Christ's name, always, always. Take care of yourselves and each other, especially the each other's. And I will gladly see you guys on the next episode of the Five Bar Show. You guys take care of yourselves. See you next time.